Well, hello everyone, I'm at View Productions, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be super interesting. Basically, we are living in the future, which means that I can take text generation AI and image generation AI and just mash them together, and now I don't have to do anything. Text AI makes the prompt, image AI generates the image. Simple. But I usually like to start off these videos with an interesting AI generation. So as some of you know, I recently received Dolly 2 Access. It is crazy good for characters character generation or character idea generation let's say you're maybe writing a book making some art of your own or maybe you just have some cool characters in your mind and you you want to get them out into the uh, image space but you can't afford professional art tools or you're not a great artist so for example this is a character concept for a wise and intelligent orangutan and he's a master librarian of the ancient archives and he's known for his widespread knowledge of many subjects and I think Dolly absolutely crushed the prompt it is a it's a character concept, just a fully white background. This one's a little bit more simple. This one was quite good as well. I really like the details. I did get a library as a background and some more interesting generations. This one was super detailed. Now I've noticed some comments in my videos lately discussing how incredible this technology is, but no one that they know or a lot of people that they talk to don't seem to care so much about it, or they don't seem to understand how important it is. You guys watching this video right now, you guys are early to the party, all right? Most people don't pick up on technology like this so early. These artificial intelligence technologies in general that are just appearing now, they will most definitely change everything. And I know a lot of you know that. So give those people time. And when they start getting applied to things that sort of directly affect their life, then they will start to see sort of the impact that this technology will have. Let's get familiar with our setup for today's video. So obviously here on the right hand side, we have Dolly 2. And I'm sure I don't need to explain Dolly 2. And on the left side, we have OpenAI's GPT-3. Essentially, I can type anything that I want, and when I click the submit button, it will try to complete the text. But both of these models are made by the same company, and they're both very good. Just to give you a little GPT-3 example, this was my prompt, and all of this green text was AI generated. I said, write a short story about a fish in an avocado armchair. Once upon a time, a fish in an avocado armchair lived happily together in a small apartment. The fish swam in his bowl on the coffee table and the avocado armchair lounged next to it, providing a comfortable place to rest. One day, the fish decided he wanted to explore beyond his bowl, and so he jumped out and landed on the avocado armchair where he found a whole new world to explore. The two of them became fast friends, and they spent many happy hours together swimming and lounging around the apartment. I don't know about you, but that's pretty good for just being AI generated. GPT-3 also has a piece to it called Codex that can generate code. This will be appearing in a future video when I create a video game using Dolly 2 and Codex. Just to give you a little taste of Codex, smiley face in the center of the screen on a blue background. And it starts coding for me. There it is, folks. It made the JavaScript code, and now it appears on the screen. I just had to share that with you guys. I hope you understand. Let's start simple here. The following list is a list of unique, never heard of before art image prompt ideas. And let's see what we get. A painting of a person's soul leaving their body. A painting of a person's life flashing before their eyes. Painting of a person's mind being consumed by darkness. A painting of a person being pulled into the abyss. And a painting of a person's final moments before death. Oh my god. GPT-3 went really dark. I do want to try a few of these out. Feel free to try these at home as well. Forgot I mentioned I also got Mid Journey here. Gonna run a few of these through Mid Journey too. Okay, here are Dolly 2's results. These are very abstract paintings, which leads me to believe that our prompts are not necessarily specific enough. This one is pretty good though. I think I'll save this one. This one, not sure what's going on, very abstract. And uh, this one's pretty obvious. He is ascending. Now you might be wondering, what do we get from Mid Journey? Actually, really quite good. These are sort of abstract, but really cool. I specifically like this one. We're gonna do one more of these in Dolly 2, but I put the next three into Mid Journey. We're gonna go with the uh, Abyss one. And well, we definitely got what we asked for. Wow. Okay, this one is really cool. I like the um, scary figures here, and I like the uh, the artistic rendition of the Abyss. This one is easily my favorite. I'm going to save that one. This one's also uh, quite good. So here is the life flashing before the eyes by Mid Journey. Not too shabby though. Here is the uh, mind being consumed by darkness. This one's so dark. 
All of these are pretty cool. This one's especially cool. Mid Journey's particularly good at stuff like this. This is a painting of a person being pulled into the abyss, the one we did with Dolly 2. And these are not as good as Dolly 2's, I, I think. Pretty cool nonetheless. All right, we went ham on the GPT-3 prompt. The following is a list of unique, never heard of before image prompt ideas to be used with a new AI that can generate an image of anything. Art, photography, 3D renders, you name it. The list is extremely unique and creative. The prompts are detailed. So, can a robot really pick up on that? I think GPT-3 will have no problem understanding what we mean by that paragraph. I've actually got a new video coming up in the future of a Alexa, Siri-type beat AI that uses GPT-3. I'm not sure about that. Alexa, not now, okay? This might answer your question. It's Monday, June 27th, 2022. No, th that does not answer my question. Get a load of that old AI, huh? <laughs> Alright, back to business. It even is going to be able to pick up that we want a list, because I'm going to start saying one, and it's going to say two, and three, and four, and give us a list. Okay, these are pretty good. A little bit more uh, varied than our last ones. Still, we're not getting enough uh, variation here. Although, these are cool, and I'm sure a lot of you guys would want to try a few of these. Okay, maybe we should try a few of these. They're pretty cool. A flower that blooms in the dark. It's kind of interesting. Let's see what we get from Dolly 2 and Mid Journey. Whoa. Okay, this is sick. These are all pretty good. This one is probably the most literal. This looks like it was taken on an iPhone. Like, hey, look at this flower I found on the night. But I mean, it fits the prompt. This is a lot more artistic. In my opinion, this is my favorite image. But this one's also super unique. This one is also really good. I don't think any of these are really that bad. And this is what we got from Mid Journey. Definitely a flower blooming in the dark, but it doesn't have that same sense of realism that Dolly 2 is known for. For, although it, you know, has a little bit more of an artistic side to it. If you change up the prompt a little bit, you could get something interesting. Okay, we gotta try the glass tree one. Whoa, okay. This looks more like uh, ornamental art. This is something I would believe actually does exist. See, this is where with Dolly 2, it has so many images that sometimes you ask for something you think doesn't exist and you get like something that really would exist, like ornaments. So I'd have to say of like a real tree out in the real world that's made of glass. You gotta be very specific with Dolly 2. And here with Mid Journey, again, I could upscale all of these images from Mid Journey. So again, this is not Mid Journey's full potential, but this one's pretty interesting. I actually really like these generations. A little bit more on the artistic side of things in comparison to Dolly 2. So I'm going to leave the prompt the same. So we're going to increase the presence penalty. Increases the likelihood of the AI to talk about new topics. Let's see if we get anything a little bit more unique. Hey, there we go. A never-before-seen natural wonder. A spacecraft from another planet, pretty basic. City on Mars, pretty basic. The inside of a black hole, that's kind of interesting. The surface of the sun, I mean, you could find renditions of that. This is a little too general. A fantastical creature in its natural habitat. This one could be interesting. I'm going to start with the natural wonder. This is cool. Specifically, we want a photo. This was quite a good prompt. This is just a nice little waterfall here. This is a really stark contrasting image of we got like water mixed with like crazy canyons. Something that would definitely be a natural wonder. This just looks like a photo from like Hawaii or something, but yeah, a natural wonder. And how did Mid Journey do? Mid Journey did quite well. These would definitely all be considered natural wonders. I mean, this is crazy. Very, very cool stuff. A fantastical creature in its natural habitat. This one, a lot of creativity you can uh, throw in there. I really hope Dolly gets creative with this one. A lot of time Dolly relies on a very detailed prompt. All right, Dolly 2 has generated. I like this one. It's like a weird frog thing. What even is this? I, I like the creativity with this. This is kind of like a seaweed woman. I'm not sure if this is a new creature. Uh, this is like a chicken snake dinosaur thing. This is definitely a fantastical creature. Again, went a little bit frog-like here, but this is a brand new creature I would never have seen before. Really cool for ideas. This doesn't look much like a creature, just sort of abstract art. And this is like a little child's rendition of a fantastical creature, but yeah, this is like a little bug guy. Mid Journey has impressed me, guys. Check these out. Yeah! Again, I like when Mid Journey flexes its art muscles, because it's got some art muscles. This is a fantastical creature. I like this more than Dolly 2's. Again, Dolly 2, sometimes you need to really 
add on to the prompt. Dolly 2 often is better than Mid Journey, but you gotta give it the right prompt, where Mid Journey can do a lot more with less, it seems. It is all personal opinion at the end of the day, though. There's a trade off for coherency versus, you know, some raw creativity. Let's change up the prompt a little bit. Alright, we threw a bit more into the prompt, changed up a few settings. I'll give it to uh, GPT 3, we're getting some good stuff. Otherworldly alien landscape with strange plants and creatures. Ooh. I like this expanse of stars one. Let's give it a shot. Okay, this is sick. This is what I was waiting for. Oh, yes. This is this is what the people like to see. Look at this person just floating around. I mean, they're not that detailed, but we got some better ones. Look at this one floating around in there. Stars are really quite good. So cool. So cool. Almost all these are good, except this guy has no head. Let's see how... Mid Journey did. All right, Mid Journey. Again, all of these could be upscaled. It sort of is getting the idea. You can definitely tell what's going on based on the prompt, although it's not coherent enough with the bodies to get the right shape. And this guy is morphing with space. He might be enjoying that, but I just realized I could have increased the size of these images the whole time. Sorry. I like the otherworldly alien landscape. I really hope we get some good detail out of Dolly 2, because I know it can do it. Whoa! All right, all right. Now this is, this is something else. Yo, this is crazy. Look at this. What even is that thing? Is that a house? Is that a plant? What is this? What is that thing? See, this, these are the ideas. Wow, this is crazy. These, this one is probably my favorite. This is absolutely nuts. The ideas, it just, they fl it flows. I can use an AI to generate ideas, and I can use an AI to make them appear in real life as an image. And uh, it's just crazy to me. It's crazy. Don't get discouraged, though, okay? Everything's all good. These are just so crazy. I love the I love the creativity that is involved with this. Like, what is this, broccoli, guys? What, what's going on? Mid Journey coming at us with some really good stuff as well. We gotta upscale these if we wanna see them in the full quality, similar to Dolly 2's quality here. But just know, these could be way higher detail and look way more way better. I don't want you, I don't want to sell Mid Journey short cuz Mid Journey can perform. All of these are really great as well, especially like this one. Like what are these little lump dumplings here? What are those things? So creative, so unique. Action-packed, adrenaline-fueled image of a race car speeding down a track. Again, we're losing the creativity touch. I have a backup plan, guys. I don't know if it's a good idea. There's an old model that I'm switching to. It's called Da Vinci, just base Da Vinci. And it's GPT-3's wild side. Back when GPT-3 used to spit out things that would get you banned on almost any social media site. But it's very creative. So let's see if it can give us some good stuff. Okay, yeah, you can see. High-res image depicting an expansive jungle scene that blends seamlessly into the ocean. Perhaps there are ruins or cargo baking in the sun on some rocks? The idea is to blend tropical landscape with something out of Final Fantasy slash Tomb Raider as if it were in real life. See, it's a little bit more creative, but it's less coherent. Mid journey ring a bell? Imagine seeing this come to life right smack in front of you. We're just gonna give it this, honestly. We'll see what this crazy prompt gives us. It might be super cool. Okay, let's see. Oh, all right, all right. The crazy AI's got something to it. This is nice. This is cool. This is what I like. This one's especially good. Definitely seeing, you know, blending seamlessly under the ocean. It looks like a crazy pirate jungle ocean area you can see uh, dolly 2 is being pushed to its detail limits doesn't have enough time to, tr to render out each detail but yeah i like this let's see what do we get mid journey wants more resolution for this one they look like they are going to be good i'm going to upscale three of these images dolly 2 still you know a lot of people might find more coherent a little bit better mid journey crushed it in my opinion these are quite good we get the landscape, we got the interesting ideas to base your stuff off of. You could easily, you know, clean this up a little bit. But yeah, I think that's pretty good for that prompt. Very, very nice stuff. All right, we can only do so much at one time, guys. I might have to do another video on this. We're going to do just like the last two prompts or so. An abandoned building in the middle of a desert. There's an eerie feeling to the scene. This one could be kind of cool. Whoa, this is what I like to see. This one's super artistic. It's like color graded. This one's also really cool. All of these are quite good. Yeah, this is exactly the prompt. Very nice stuff. Taking a look at Mid Journey, we get a little bit more of an artistic approach, maybe. Different types of buildings. Very, very close to the original prompt. So good work, Mid Journey. All right, so I'm going to try to give it a little head start here. The inside of a cave, but instead of rockets made out of candy. Ooh. The inside of a cave, but instead of rockets made out of candy, lighting is provided by colorful lollipops. 
All right, let's give this a shot. I feel like this is going to be a really cool sort of final prompt. All right, this is a tough prompt for sure. It's sort of getting there, but there's just too much detail and Dolly 2 doesn't really, it can't render it all out. This one's pretty good. It's not very detailed, but you can see the lollipops are sort of lighting up the cave and it's all colorful. Uh, this is just lollipops floating in a cave. Looks a little spooky. This one's pretty cool. Doesn't really look like it's candy though. This one's also very good. You can sort of tell there's candy everywhere. This one you can sort of tell also that there's candy all over you know and it's made of candy maybe and the colorful lollipops this one's not too bad again just not enough detail to really get there but it's candy up there oh this one turned out pretty good now mid journey's result mid journey this is some this is some creative juices going here definitely the inside of a cave definitely a lot of candy feels like it's made out of candy in that spooky sort of like glowing candy light that I that I was sort of looking for with this prompt, but no lollipops. So again, it's, you know, it's a give and a take, a little bit of this interesting creative stuff here. Mid Journey did the inside of the cave made of candy really well. Dolly 2 did the lollipops probably the best, right? So, you know, it's a give and a take sometimes with this stuff, but we got some really, really cool generations today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. This was an extremely fun and interesting video to make, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check out some of my other videos. I got some useful stuff on Dolly 2 Access, OpenAI answering some really important Dolly 2 questions, uh, direct comparisons between Mid Journey and Dolly 2, alternatives to Dolly 2 or Mid Journey. So go check my channel out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in another video.